If you have, live in Houston, great place, you'll take it. All right, Jen, let's send it back over to you. Randall, thank you. This morning, we're talking about flip-flops, a true staple to many of our summer wardrobes. But are flip-flops hurting our feet? We're happy to have here live in the studio Dr. Rondra Williamson. He's a podiatrist right here thank in you. Atlanta. Uh, we've been talking to him throughout the morning. We've been uh, talking about our flip-flops. Are mm -hmm. they all created equally? What makes a flip-flop good or bad? Mm -hmm. So, quick overview before we get to our viewer questions. Quick overview. When, when you're looking for, for purchasing a flip-flop, you need to get one that has great cushion, and it's going to cuff your heel. I mean, most of these, like the ones we have here. These are, are my, my yeah, bad flip-flops, by the way. <laughs> they're so thin, and if you pick them up in the store and they can move flexible and freely like this, ah, it's not a good shoe. All right, but not even this one, shoe. which is not my most comfortable one, has a big heel. Yeah, but that's a good one. That's, that's a good, good one. And okay. it's made of leather, too, so a, a leather flip-flop is better than one made of plastic. Okay, that's good to know. Right. Leather is better than plastic. Of course. We asked our, invited our viewers to ask some questions, and we have a bunch. Mm -hmm. um, this one from Carol in Atlanta. She says, I work 50 hours a week on my feet. I'm a runner, so it's important. And she recommends Akabashi with great colors, and they're comfy. Now, she wants to know, what are your thoughts on that? Well, with the Akabashi um, flip-flop or sandal, it has a great art support in it, which is what you're looking for. And it cups your heel very well, so great job, Carol. Great okay, selection. so that's the key, cupping your heel and you need some exactly. art support. That's the problem exactly. with flip-flops, right? Exactly. Now, Kathy Bratt wrote this. Uh, Me and my son wear the Adidas sliders year-round. Are these just as harmful as flip-flops? Uh, I wear the Adidas sliders as well. Um, they give moderate support, yeah. but they're not as bad as going to, say, your store and getting a two ninety nine pair of flip flops or something okay. like that, but they don't provide you the, the cupping of your, your heel like you need. I think it's easy to walk out of those, by the it way. Really, which it really is another is. It another really potential is. danger. It really is. Puts your foot at risk for pathology. Now the next one is more of a comment mm -hmm. um, and the most obvious harmful condition when wearing flip flops involves the weather sunburn right which right. is another key john stickley or john h stickley jr put that comment on right. twitter you know most people don't think about that your foot is exposed to the elements and the sun is a factor so it's important to use some type of sun protection some type of sunscreen on your feet as well Whenever but your skin is exposed exactly right. it's a very good point now we also had a lot of people telling us about the flip-flops uh, they like the most andy funk said mm -hmm. this some of the most comfortable shoes are my sole flip-flops mm -hmm. my feet feel better after wearing them than they do after wearing shoes right um and in fact he wears shoes with podiatrist provided uh, orthotics right the sole uh, flip-flops are great as well just like the okabashi with great arch support, great heel cup, and great accommodation. So those are great to use. Um, a flip-flop like that that's going to kind of mimic the environment that you're going to get in a shoe with an orthotic is always a good choice. Okay. All right. So we have some good options. Yeah. We have what not to wear, which is the, you know, inexpensive. I want to do that. And but if, you can get them in any color, so maybe you wear them, right. you know, for it, a, a right. moment. <laughs> and, if, and if you're going to get a sandal as opposed to a flip-flop, the more strapping, the better, because it's going to hold your foot closer to that shoe so your foot and toes don't have to work as hard okay. to hold your foot on the shoe. Well, this has been great yeah. advice. Dr. Ron, thank you. Thank and you very I know much you appear on The me. Doctor sometimes yeah. as well, so uh, good luck with that. We'll thank you very much. We'll look forward to your segments. Thank you. Dr. Ron. All right, coming up next, we'll have uh, more of what's happening in the tropics, and Reynolds will send it back over to you for that. Okay, thanks so much.